This video shows you how to shear thin brass and nickel silver for use in model making. Here's our goal. I'm going to be making this gantry and I need some brass I-beams. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. You can watch this video and many more showing other projects that we make and how to do it. Okay, so let's dive right in and start shearing brass. First thing you need is breaker bars. I make mine with some aluminum angle and bench vise. I hold, hold the angle in place in the bench vise with some blue tack on the back side. You can buy breaker bars or you can make them from some strap steel drill and bolt them together. I like to bench vise fast and easy. We're going about this backwards. This is the way we do it. I'll show you how to get to this point later. But what we're going to do is put scored brass in the breaker bars and then we're going to work it back and forth until we get a nice straight fatigue break. You can do this with brass uh, and nickel silver I do with both. When I make brass engines uh, I, I use this technique. This is 0.3 millimeter brass so it's a little difficult you get down to point 0.2, it's much easier, and point 0.1 is a piece of cake. We work it back and forth. Pretty soon, you'll feel it start to break, and you go ahead and crack it. You'll get a very nice straight shear for the uh, small piece. You'll get a slight bend uh, on the upper piece. I fixed that. I'll show you how I do that. I'll, I'll put the brass back into the breaker bars and, and squeeze it, and that just get, makes it nice and level. And here we go. It's a nice shear. I clean the edges up on uh, and dragging it on a large file or a sharpening stone, uh, and then take off the uh, black with alcohol. This is what I do to straighten the edges. Just put it in the breaker bar and squeeze it. Okay, let's move on to the next step. I start by marking the edge of brass with a black marker that allows me to see the line I'm um, going to make. I'm going to use a pair of dividers, scribe down the edge to get the width I want. In this case, I'm making a 30 centimeter HO scale wide web for the uh, beam. Now, when I'm making uh, other parts for my brass box cars, I can take this down to like three centimeters HO scale. Uh, but I use a 0.1 thick uh, brass. This I'm using 0.3. Okay, now I've scored it, and we're ready to go. We're going to score, or I'm going to score, the brass with a tool I made. It's I got I give credit to Ian Rice. Uh, in, I got the design from one of his books on kit construction of brass locomotives. Uh, hacksaw blade sharpened and ground and sharpened to a point. I, I line up a steel rule over the score line that I made with the dividers. I leave a little bit of room about the thickness of the hacksaw blade and then start uh, drawing some, uh, scoring some lines in the brass. Now, you can't do it in one pass. I generally uh, do, you know, 10 passes per 0.1 uh, millimeter brass. So I'll do 30 passes on 0.3. It's actually a lot more than I need, but it makes breaking it much, a lot easier. On point one, I'll do 10 passes. It's a simple matter of making a good score. And then we go ahead and put this brass back into the breaker bars like I showed you in the beginning. So that's all there is to it. You score it, and it's ready to go. See how nice you can see that line? There it is. We'll take that line, we'll set that line up right at the top of the breaker bars, and 
bend it until we get a shear break. This is what you get. These are the strips cut to make into I-beams for the gantry. Go below, there's a link to a video making I-beams. Okay, that's it for now. Now I want to hear from you. Tell me what you think of this video. If you can add something, please do that too. Some of your ideas may be much better than mine, so don't hesitate. Use the comments box below so everyone can see what you have to say. And please do subscribe. While you're subscribing, ring the bell so that you're notified by YouTube when we post a new video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.